So it's time to pick the CJ up, isn't it? Right, so right now you're, sitting, you're probably sitting in front of your computer with 10 tabs open and just choosing what college you want to go to. And the list is like massive. But then you realize to, in order to open yourself more doors on the international background, you gotta pick an English speaking establishment. And so you're left to choose with these three. But come on now. Oh wow, you picked Dawson College, what a coincidence. So you came to the right place. I spent entire three semesters at Dawson so far, and I'm fully ready to tell you why and if you should pick it as a CJEP without no sugar coating and no marketing techniques. So number one, location. Now Dawson's basically at the heart of Montreal, it's right near the only street of the city, St. Catherine. The closest metro is right under you, is at water, but I'm gonna get into this later. And also there are a lot of buses nearby too. There is the Alexis Neon Mall right near you, and there's a lot of cafes and nice nice restaurants nearby. Somewhere you can catch a brunch, quick lunch, or you know just relax with your friends. The downtown is right there and you can vibe the fuck out in the parks. You can be like the motherfuckers at the brochure, sitting on the grass and studying. It's really nice to hang around, especially in the early autumn and spring or late spring. I mean the location itself is pretty good no matter what area of Montreal you live. Although, if you're daddy rich and you got a car, well that's a whole nother story. Because as for the moment of recording of this video, uh, there are no student parking in there. But I think the mall has some offerings for cheaper parking if you are a student. Number two, the building. Now knowing that you want that you click on this video, that means you want to or you think about going to Dawson College, which also means that you're one of the locals and you live in Montreal, or like around. And as you may know, this is a city where the temperature is either 30 or minus 30. So a major selling point of Dawson is having a subway underneath and you actually don't have to leave the subway to get into the college. I mean, it's just great. <laughs> now, almost everybody I know said that the inside looks like a hospital. Meanwhile, having 12,000 students in one building doesn't help at all. And you will get stuck on the escalator on your way up, especially how some of these people will stand where you're supposed to walk and also a big struggle is to navigate around the college. There is always the information stand, but no need to rely on somebody else. And with my simple guide, you will be running on Dawson in no time, even though if you like the orientation signs, just like me. So you got your classroom number right here. The first number is the number of your floor. It can go from minus two up to eight. The letter is the wing where the classroom is supposed to be. And the last number is the classroom itself. The odd ones are on the right and the, and the even ones are on the left. I don't know why they did that. It's really uncomfortable. You have eight wings and seven main floors. It, I mean, it can get overwhelming, but I promise you'll get used to it. As I mentioned before, there's also the eighth floor, but it's used mainly for new school, lockers, and sex. So you won't be spending much time then. Number three, uh, the general atmosphere. Now whether you were a bad bitch or a little mousy boy in high school, it all doesn't matter here because no one cares. In general education classes like English or humanities, people barely know each other so they all they do is listen in class or skip. And when it comes to your program, it really ain't that hard to make friends since you'll be spending a lot of time working together. For my less extroverted homies, uh, semesters are long and you got time to adjust and see how everybody behaves and then find people who you feel most comfortable with is gonna work out. Don't be afraid to invite your group your group mates for coffee or just like a little one-on-one -on -one thing just to hang out after class. And now you may be wondering what's the fucking point of hanging out with my classmates? This ain't high school. I just want to get my grades and go home. Well let me explain. A lot of people who will be in your program are probably the same people you will meet later in the university or in the workplace because it's the same domain so the connection that you build right now will actually really help you in the future. Shit, call it an investment. And I'm telling you right now from a personal experience, there are some great friendships that come out out of trying to cope with six classes in a week. CJP is just simpler when you work in a group. As for the people, I had a chance to be both in science and in art part of Dawson College. I have a friend in business who is helping me write this video and I'm dating a girl from psychology. To keep it short, science kids are competitive but generally nice. Most of the general social science kids smoke weed and sleep in class. The people in psych, business and law are very motivated but are very willing to help you with anything. The craziest kids are in the first choice because them motherfuckers will kill you for the better art score. And most of the art kids are in their own world, but they're extremely nice. And cinema students got nothing to do 24-7. <laughs> I'll see the joke is that I'm in cinema. Oh, and the teachers are good. When you're picking your classes, look look up some teachers on Rate My Teacher. You can always drop classes. And I'm going to tell you in a, in a bit how you can make your experience in college better just in general. So the teachers are extremely supportive and very, very helpful. So stop being a bitch and ask for help. And the main points to succeed are don't skip class. Um, manage your time well, get yourself an agenda or a Google Calendar, it will help. The key to succeeding is, is getting good grades and not letting yourself get overwhelmed with everything. I have two main advices. First one is, if it's too much, take fewer classes and make get an extra semester later. Your mental health and your R school will help you for that. And my second advice is, you'll be getting your course outlines 
in advance and you will know all your deadlines in advance. So start working on things in advance. The thing I use and I try to use and some of my friends use, imagine if you're a week behind. So you, let's say I got an assignment in two weeks, I got only a week. So I finish it by the next week, but then I got a whole less week to go back, proofread, and that already puts me ahead. With all that, I'm sure you will succeed and everything will go very well for you. Before we part ways, I would like to thank my friend Victor Gianna for helping me write this video. I hope this video helped you pick your CJ up and I, I wish you the best of luck. And for everybody who's, who's my subscriber and stuck around, I hope you had a good laugh and thank you for watching.